Hey guys, welcome back to another episode <laughs> of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. Uh, so today, we are going to go with Weird Ass Wednesday for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, really crazy guitar. And also, it's the last day of uh, the Vero Great Guitar Contest. So um, You I better enter. Better enter right now. Yes. <laughs> Right now, there's a lot of good ones too. I saw a few of them. We're going to be looking over the next three days, but uh, and uh, a lot of you DM'd me and sent me the link, so I got to see them. So we're going to have uh, some some finalists soon, maybe Ooh. Friday. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, and then uh, actually today, I got to run. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, well, I have a gig. Look at you. I know, isn't that weird? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I kind of, I'm gonna miss everybody. Uh oh, no I won't, Joel's on drums. <laughs> it's fine. All right, well, anyway, today, we have a cool guitar, it's a little different. Come on back, let's check it out. Oh boy, we got a drum set, guys, by the way. We did get a drum, it's horrible. It's, it's not terrible. not a good idea. It's like, we had a, a five-year-old kid and he chose drums, and his name's Joel. <laughs> anyway. Here we have a 1967 Fender Coronado 2 in Antigua finish. Ooh. Let me pull that out. Jen, they're saying we should get a piano bench. What do you a think? A piano bench? To put the guitar on. So it's just, I'm kind of down. I don't know, something. Maybe there's something better than that. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> this is the 1967 Coronado 2 Antigua. Um, this guitar was the first guitar from Fender to kind of compete with the 335. Um, it didn't do much uh, competing. Uh, wasn't much for competition, but uh, I actually love it. Um, I think it's really cool. First thing I really noticed was the Mustang bar, and it actually works even better than a Mustang would with this tremolo system. Um, it just stays in tune and it's got the perfect kind of dip to it. Um, and then you have the D Armin pickups, single coil pickups, which was uh, unique to this guitar. Um, also, they did like kind of like a Gibson switch up, like 335. So you got your bridge, uh, both, and then you have your neck. And then the controls are like volume, volume, like a Gibson, tone, tone. Um, but, uh, this guitar, if you wanted an Antigua finish Coronado, this is like the perfect example. And I actually own a Coronado myself. Mine's a 12 string. Um, it has a hockey stick headstock. Um, but uh, really great guitars. I think they're underestimated. And I think if you wanna be unique, not only with the look, but also sound and think outside of the box, this is a great example. Um, and it was also the first guitar, let me hold that bar, um, with, the Antigua finish, which is pretty interesting, because late 60s, uh, get ch check out those tuners too, really cool, with the F stamps. These tuners are beautiful if we get the front too. Um, really cool style tuners, I've never seen them on a Fender before. Um, but uh, yeah, this guitar, um, super light too, and it's very versatile, um, but uh, you're never gonna get a tremolo system like this on a Gibson, I, I don't, I, I just never really care too much for Bigsby's compared to any Fender tremolo. Um, but it's just a really crazy guitar and I think it gets a lot of heat, but you know what? Why is it, because of Antigua? The color and also Fender isn't really known for their hollow bodies. But I have to say, with so much stuff that's been done anymore, these are the guitars that I think have opportunity because you can do something different. Uh, somebody hasn't already mastered this. So all, all the things you can laugh about it, there's also just so much opportunity that, because nobody's been dealing with this. So I think this is a guitar that's very special in our shop. So I'm gonna take it out front, see what it can do. And uh, yeah, first time playing one of these too. So let's go. First time for everything. Woo. All right, we're out front with the 1967 Fender Coronado II in Antigua finish. Uh, today we're going through the 1971 Small Box Marshall, uh, and we got our board, but first we're going to start off clean. Here we go.
Cool. Uh, now we're going into middle position. Both pickups together. There we go. Let's see if I can not mess this up. Not least, uh, we'll go to bridge pickup hyperdrive. <laughs> have it the 1967 fender coronado 2 in antigua finish you can check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on instagram and facebook at normans rare guitars i'm your host michael lemo and i will see you guys tomorrow for a something thursday bye